Hi, welcome to East Coast Travel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to travel with the Vietnamese sleeper bus. Uh, they use sleeper bus in many many routes around the country, but uh, even even in some route that uh, actually that can be uh, used as the as a uh, sitting bus, but they use the slipper bus instead. And this one is the is the Vesa. Vesa is mean uh, 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 bus ticket uh, or car ticket. Yes, but Vesa card is mean uh, uh, something like a passenger bus ticket. And at first you got the ticket. In some cases, you can have them uh, pick you up from the hotel or even from the uh, your home, and then uh, you waiting for boarding here at the big station like this. Right now, I'm here at the Cần Thơ bus station of Bến Xe Cần Thơ, and this is a special lounge uh, catering only for the Thanh Boy. This is the name of the. Uh, bus company that are going to travel from here at Kanto. It's, it's for now Kanto, not Kanto, not Kanto, uh, to Thành Phố Ho Chi Minh or Ho Chi Minh City. So we're going to show you. I show you how to travel and. Uh, make yourself at home on the uh, Vietnamese slipper bag which uh, similar to the Chinese slipper bag and with the announcement uh, we are going to boarding the bus from Cần Thơ to Thành Phố Ho Chi Minh or uh, Ho Chi Minh City the biggest uh, southern city of Vietnam You have to show your ticket and they will give you some tag on the your luggage and bag. And this is the sleeper bus with the Wi-Fi. Quite novel. To take off your shoes here and put it in a plastic bag. And you, you have to put the shoe in the back like this. And, and right now I'm here uh, in place in the, on my whatever seat, your slipper seat because the they call this a slipper bus because you have to slip all the way to the your destination. This is not just reclining seat, but this is the sleeper. It's like a small bed on the maybe submarine. <laughs> so it's quite strange for who not used to this kind of uh, arrangement on the bus. There are three row and each row have a upper level and lower level. Right now I'm here on the upper level. This lower level down there. So, lower level down there. And the conductor come here for sorting out the seating. Yeah, the lower seat around there. There's a uh, aircon here and some light is not working. And you have a uh, drinking water and wet paper here. Something with your stuff on your leg. Go inside it. 
it's not suit well for anyone who high above average. I mean, you should take another kind of uh, transportation like the sitting bus, uh, the sleeper bus in Vietnam is called Giường Nam or Giường Nam and sitting bus called Keng Ngoi. Just, just in case you may need this, it's a bit hard to pronunciation for Westerner. We now have the Nhà Ca Bến Xe Khác Thành Phố Cần Thơ or the terminal station of the uh, passenger bus station uh, Cần Thơ City. Oh, okay, we are leaving now soon to Ho Chi Minh City. And I hope this review is going to help you when you travel in Vietnam and you will have some idea what the uh, Vietnamese sleeper bus look like and I have to warn you that this is uh, one of the good bus I mean uh, other bus might not uh, as good as this but well you have at least you have some idea uh, what it look like to be on a sleeper bus in Vietnam or even in China there have a similar system Uh, apart from water, a, a bottle of water, they also have some kind of bread here. This nice view from the Vietnamese Mekong Delta. And I'm going to try this. Look like uh, some kind of uh, song, but it's uh, not spread out. Smell good. Okay, I'm going to test this one. Mm. Delicious. Soft and flavorful. I like this. Very good bread. This is going to be my breakfast. This is the road between uh, the main highway between Kentucky uh, uh, City to Geelong City on the way to Ho Chi Minh City.